shares of Indian oil producers and refiners rallied in unison on Wednesday morning as the government move lifted their spirits. And what was the move? The government slashed windfall taxes on fuel exports and local crude oil sales that were imposed only 20 days ago on July 1st. The open-ended levies are reviewed every fortnight. To target profits made from a spike in oil prices after the Russia-Ukraine conflict started, India had imposed windfall tax in the form of a cess of 23,250 rupees per ton or $40 a barrel on domestic crude production. Now this has been slashed by 27% to 17,000 rupees a ton, benefiting oil producers like state-owned ONGC and Oil India and Vedanta. Shares of these three companies closed between 3.7% and 5.9% higher on Wednesday. Similarly, the government reduced the windfall tax on diesel and jet fuel exports by 2 rupees a litre from 13 rupees and 6 rupees respectively. The levy of 6 rupees a litre on petrol exports has been scrapped completely. Reliance Industries jumped 2.5% while state-owned Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemicals hit upper circuit of 5% and Chennai Petroleum Corporation closed nearly 9% higher on Wednesday. The levies came as oil refiners reaped major profits by boosting fuel exports to deficit regions such as Europe, which is now boycotting imports of Russian energy. India's only privately owned refining companies, Russia's Rosneft-backed Nayara Energy and Reliance Industries, account for 80-85% to of the country's overall petrol and diesel exports, according to consultancy firm FGE. The government also removed the levies on exports from refineries located in special economic zones benefiting Reliance as the Mukesh Ambani-led company runs India's only export-focused refining unit in Gujarat's Jamnagar. Global crude oil benchmark Brent has slumped since the first week of June when it was above $120 a barrel on fears of a potential global recession. Returns from processing petrol and diesel in Asia have also plunged in the recent weeks. News agency PTI said that the windfall levy scooped out 40% of the oil producer's earnings on top of it, they also paid royalty and cess. Revenue Secretary Tarun Bajaj had said the government would withdraw the windfall tax if global prices of crude oil fall as much as $40 a barrel from around $112 levels. But Brent is currently trading at $105 a barrel after rebounding nearly 10% over the past week. Analysts at Morgan Stanley on Wednesday said that steady improvement in local fuel availability, stability in oil prices and more normalized global fuel margins will help in further reducing windfall taxes under fortnightly review. Reliance, Oil India and ONGC will see reduction in overhang and equity valuations should start pricing in high sustainable energy margins as government action provides clarity on the path ahead, they added. The number of reports saying that, you know, the globally there would be recession or US, they're, they're now saying 30% chance of a recession, Europe is going into a recession because of the war as such and high energy prices, etc. Uh, so those reports have multiplied, leading to, you know, uh, uh, you know, the expectation that crude will probably be uh, on the lower side of the spectrum, uh, lower side of the band, probably of 100 to 120 as of now. And somewhat, somewhat decline in crude prices, which is uh, probably prompting the government. Uh, the crack spreads for petrol have very sharply dipped which is not the case with diesel. Diesel also has declined uh, uh, somewhat, so therefore a smaller cut in diesel. Analysts from Kotak Institutional Equities had said that windfall tax on fuel exports were not well thought out and may hamper the investment climate. They said the imposition of taxes on exports of petroleum products goes against the government's historic policy of incentivizing refining, whereas an expert at IAFL Securities told a business news channel that the government has been pragmatic and tried to address the situation as soon as things have come under control. The so-called crack spread, which is the profit that refiners get from turning crude into petrol, diesel and jet fuel, has crashed since the imposition of the windfall taxes. But a sharper drop for petrol explains why the special additional excess duty on the fuel's export has been removed altogether. While recession fears sparked concerns of a slowdown in oil demand, realizations for producers are still remunerative. Therefore, windfall taxes on domestic crude oil production may sustain longer. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. 
For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. सब अच्छी दिख रही हैं यार कौन सी खरीदू ये तो वही बात हुई चार हजार शेयर लिस्टेड है कौन सा लू वो तो सबसे आसान है तुझे फाइव पैसा नहीं पता अब तो सबको पता है फाइव पैसा पर है चार हजार स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुल बिफोर इन्